Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how we can have our company's intranet site which is built on SharePoint to be available within MS Teams using Viva Connection. So I already did one video uh, four or five months back on Viva Connection, how you can set up Viva Connections within your company's SharePoint environment and how to enable the global navigation and then have the Viva Connection dashboards created with the custom adaptive cards or with the default adaptive cards. So you may take a look on that video. I'll just put uh, the videos link over here. So today's video's objective is like taking it uh, one step ahead, like having this intranet site, which is there into my uh, environment in the SharePoint environment as uh, which sits as a home site to be available within MS Teams. So my, my site should be starting appearing over here somewhere so that my uh, company should get or employee should get a better modern experience within MS Teams rather than going back to SharePoint environment. So let's let's start doing that. So I will actually just give an overview that how what are the prerequisites required to enable the Viva connection. So I'll be just going to the admin center first of all. So first I will be taking you to the SharePoint admin center. Then we'll move to the MS Teams where we'll be doing some couple of configuration stuff, and then we should be done. So over here in this uh, dashboard, admin center dashboard, I would be going to my SharePoint first. And as I said, because we are going to leverage the Viva connections for the modern experience, though like I have already done one video, like how without Viva connection, how you can have your company's internet site to be available within MS Teams. So that link also I'm going to share if you don't wish to use the Viva connection, but yeah, Viva connection is the right engaged way of uh, uh, I mean, making this um, site appear to be in the MS Teams. So I'm into the SharePoint. Let's just start by enabling few steps and I'll be going to the settings. So these are the prerequisite uh, which is required. So you have to click on this SharePoint home site and over here, if it's not configured, then you have to configure your company's internet site name and link over here as a home site. So I've already done that. You can simply uh, create click on add new and then just push the put the URL of your company's internet so for me like uh, let's say this is my test internet and it's already been configured so that is the first step and in the second step you have to navigate to your this internet site and on the gear icon you have to click on this global navigation and then have this global navigation on so that it can start appearing up into MS Teams as well and as well as it's a part of this global navigations over here on the left hand side. So you can actually very well change the logo for this global navigation and the navigation source as well. If you wish to have the source from this side, then just select home site. Otherwise you can have that uh, driven to, through other hub site as well. So I'm just canceling this. And the final step is you have to click on the Viva connections and because it's already configured, so uh, you, you must be already seeing that Viva Connection View Dashboard. So under Dashboard, we'll be having area where we can start putting up cards over here. So as soon as this uh, Viva Connection uh, Dashboard opens up, either in MS Teams or in your SharePoint, what cards should be visible. So you can have multiple cards and you can also have your custom adaptive card so i've created i demoed one week in one video how to create the custom adaptive cards for the viewer connections and right now i'm simply like adding one card designer where i would be just uh, want to have this as a welcome card so i'll just choose let's say this where i can uh, specify the title so i'll just simply say welcome to source so source could be your name of your intranet and then you can select the custom icon you can very well change it and in the description you can link this with direct site so you can directly paste up the link of your internet site rather than because it's just a welcome card nothing special about it and in the heading you will be just changing the heading as let's say hello there and you can very well see that into mobile experience and into desktop as well how the cards would look like so it's just a configuration stuff i'm telling you because over the teams like first screen would be this if you use that teams mobile app 
then you would get this screen and then when you click on it you would be inside your environment so that's why we created this welcome card so now it's published we got we done three prerequisites uh, for having our internet enabled or should be displayed under ms teams and now we are going to navigate to our ms admin center sorry and i'll choose this teams Now we have to enable the Viva connection for our Teams administration. So let's put that. I'll just click on this expand. And over here, we'll be going Teams apps because we want to leverage our Viva connection app. And under Manage apps, so all the apps which are available to within your Teams would be listed over here. So you simply need to search for Viva connection or Viva. So right now you see like we just got these four uh, apps related to Viva Engage, Viva Goals, but there is no app related to Viva Connections. And why is that so? So because we have already named or configured this My Source Info, which is our communication site as a hub's home site. So that's why my this Viva Connection has been renamed to my source info so just keep that in mind that once you once you do all the settings on your this internet site the enabling of viva connections then it will start taking the site title instead of viva connection name so if you have not done that as a prerequisite then you would start seeing uh, the app, app name as viva connection but once you are done then that app would be available as your company's internet name under your company's internet name. but you can see like the publisher is microsoft and if you click on this as well you would able to see under the description that it is the microsoft viva connection which provides an curated company brand modern employee experience so this is the same app so just just try to uh, remember this that if you have already enabled the Viva connection on your communication site that the Viva connection would be renamed. So just try to search with that site name. Don't get confused that we are not able to find Viva connections. So now here in this app, you can, uh, I mean, simply if it's disabled, you can enable this allowed. And under the customization, you have this customization. You can change the name. You can very well add the description. And over here, you can change the icon as well for your company and there is a other accent color so you can very well change the accent colors and these settings would actually take 24 hours to be get applied so just uh, remember that if you are not seeing your changes immediately just wait for 24 hours so that it can be pro propagated to your all the environment so that is the enabling of the viva connection and the next step we would be going to the setup policies where we want how this uh, app should be uh, visible so under this global org wide default so we we want our internet to be available uh, antagonization so you have to click on this org wide settings and over here so right now i just see these default activity chats which is a default one but i wish to add our intranet as well so i clicked on add apps i'll type the name of my intranet that is my source and we'll add it so it added into those setup policies and I'll just move the this to the top so that I the first tab I should see is my internet. So I'm just saving it and it's saying like it will impact the org wide settings so that's fine. So once this is done now we should start seeing our intranet into the teams. And right now we don't see it because it has to be refreshed. So let me just sign out and sign in again so that I can see like it's it, it does take that updated settings. So I just resign and uh, I could see this my my source information uh, and over here like this is this is my internet side which is started appearing over here if i click again on this so you would able to see like your recent sites where you have uh, opened recently as in global navigation because it's, it was a part of global navigation which we configured over the side 
so that's how you can start seeing it but uh, this uh, the, the setup policy does take time it can take uh, it can take effectively within 5 minutes or 30 minutes so just wait for it like whatever branding changes we are doing like that actually takes 24 hours to get the visibles if you're changing logo or any that uh, ascent colors so that would take time so don't panic if you don't see that immediately it takes it takes a while to get that displayed so i think like uh, we got the today's videos intent that how we can have our internet to be added as this tab at the organization level so that is for today if you have any question then please feel free to drop your comments i'll try to answer